my father who flew 66 sorties over the European theater as a pilot in the Army Air Corps, whose ring, his pilot ring, I wear every day, said to me one time, do not ever confuse November 11th, Veterans Day. That's the day for those whom we got to kiss goodbye or kiss goodnight. This day is for those we did not. Let us pray. Holy One, whom we call by many names, we have gathered here today in the spirit of peace, remembering war that has so many casualties. Those who died in battle, those who were left behind, whose lives changed forever by the loss of a spouse, a parent, a child, a friend, a comrade. We remember those who suffer as a result of war, injury and disability and mental distress. And we pray too for those caught in the middle of conflicts. We've gathered as a community in solemn remembrance of those who've given their lives in service to the country we love. We remember loved ones and those who are strangers to us. And each of us in our own way reaches out seeking solace so that we might be agents of compassion and grace to those who grieve. We ask that you would guard the brave ones who risk themselves for our country, give them compassion for enemies, keep those who serve from hate that hardens. And though they must be at war, let them live for peace. May the remembrance of the price paid for our life as a nation impel us to seek justice, to foster freedom, and to pursue peace. May our nation be a source of blessing to all people. For we ask and pray this in the name of all that is holy. Amen. I close with the words from the Christian New Testament, the Apostle Paul. God calls us to be a people of peace in this world, to have courage, to hold on to what is good, to return no one evil for evil, to strengthen the faint-hearted, to support the weak, to help the suffering, and to honor all as God's children, to love and to serve. Amen.